So let's solve this problem. We want to find the, we want to graph this, but find the vertex axis of symmetries and so forth. So the vertex on this problem is going to be shifted to the left one, and it's going to have a vertical uh, horizontal shift negative one, and a vertical shift of negative four. So negative one, negative four. So down here. And then, um, so that's just a, other than that though, it's a standard graph. So. And nine or whatever, so so approximately like that. All right, so axis of symmetry. So that's a vertex axis of symmetry. Y equals negative one, and um, so x intercept. Oh, I didn't find that last time. X intercept intercepts are going to be at. Um, so, what is uh, x plus 1 squared minus 4 equals 0? So, x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 4 equals 0 x um, so this ends up becoming x squared plus 3x or plus 2x minus 3 equals 0 so x plus 3 x minus 1 so x intercepts at x equals negative 3 and 1 Yep, that's right. All right, so y intercepts. That's when y is equal to zero. Or no, x is equal to zero, so that's one minus four, so that's at um, zero comma negative three. And actually these x intercepts are negative three comma zero and one comma zero. All right, and then, so b, determine the domain A domain is negative infinity to infinity because there's no restrictions on what you can select for x, and the range is going to be is going to be, um, and actually it's a bracket because it includes it. Negative four to infinity, and determine whether it's increasing or, or where it's increasing, decreasing. So it's decreasing this equation from negative infinity to negative one and increasing from negative one to infinity and that's it